Good evening and welcome to the Town of Brookfield uh, Select Board meeting for January 5th, 2023. Please rise and say the pledge. Pledge allegiance to, to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All right, and next morning, this is going to look like a speed dating version for the open meeting session because we've got some work we need to do in executive session, so I'm going to ask everybody to bear with me as I talk fast. Uh, so, uh, first of all, the announcements, Merritt Public Library is closed for building repairs. The library can't pro cannot provide library services during this time. Library materials may be returned in the outdoor book drop. Your library card can be used at most libraries in Central and Western Massachusetts, and you can still use all the online services. Reminder from the Highway Department, a winter parking ban is in effect through April 1st. There's no parking on the streets between the hours 11 p.m. and 6 a.m. Vehicles in violation will be ticketed and towed at owner's expense. Snow or ice removed from driveways, sidewalks, or private property should not be plowed, shoveled, or blown across any public way, street, or roadway. Okay, we've got a report on the warrant signed. Uh, my good sir. Uh, FY23 number 13 payroll warrant for $188,939.44. Uh, AP warrant for $175. $1,561.33 and withholding warrant for $69,112.92. Okay. Anything of concern or note within there? No. Great. All uh, right. The only question was, which I pretty much resolved, I, and I believe it was resolved, was um, Kelly was questioning about some nominal hours with the library. Yep. And being that it's closed, yep. but I believe those people still have work. Yeah, they were yeah. they were working on uh, at at I at think the other, Eight Common. Right. Yeah. yeah. And it was and some of it was off hours, so it was more a case of the hours were correct, but the but the times on the the times weren't reflected in the the right, right. time slots. Yeah. So, but yeah, they, she got that straightened out. Yeah. So, right. so we should be good there. Okay. Um, Anything else from old business or reports? All right, new business. Relook at borrowing, town treasurer and fire chief. And fire chief. All right, great. I was told you were going to provide materials. Are there any materials? Or are you just providing information? Not providing any updates. Okay. So the official statement, which is. About this thick, about 40 pages oh. of financial information. Sent it to Unibank Monday. So it's in draft format. They're going to be getting it back to us pretty soon. Okay. Kelly has a copy of the draft. They're going to send it to the private brokers. Okay. Remember how we talked about competitive sale and all that kind of stuff? They're going to try private brokers to see what they can get for us. But I just wanted to update you. I don't know if we discussed a number last time for the fire truck. I thought you had, and I didn't bring the sheets back with me, but I thought you had provided us both like the amount and, and what was gonna be rolled up into it. It, yeah. You gave us a total sum that included the fire truck, yeah, and right. then the, you the had fire, a fire truck plus the common street property, yeah. fire truck alone. The fire truck number has to be adjusted because the number I gave you was only for the fire truck, not for the warrant article, which included purchase and equip. Okay. It's only like ten thousand dollars. It's not okay. a big number. I just wanted to let you know. Know that, that it's slightly different than the numbers it's you provided. It's a little bit different, but it's not going to make a huge impact. Right. Because I forgot that Pete had to buy stuff to make it actually function. Right, and I think you were looking at what, fire truck and the, the police, police station. station. Yeah. Right, okay. Yep, so we're getting really close to having actual firm numbers on what our interest rate's gonna be. Okay, great. Should be so, in the next couple of weeks. All right, so, and that should be well within the time we need before the state note comes up on the Yeah, state station. note is due in March. We should have this wrapped up, I think, February 23rd. Okay. Is the day. So okay. Great. Should be fine. Sounds good. Chief, did you have anything to add or? 
and nothing on that, but if through the chair, if you want, if you wouldn't mind taking number five out of order, I'll get out of your hair. Oh, we can do that. So, uh, can I get a motion to declare um, engine one surplus? We make a motion to declare engine number one surplus. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Just for clarification, engine one is a 1987 Ford chassis with a Grumman fire body on it and a work with Kelly in terms of you know, dispersal through proper procurement. The municipal, there'll be pictures online with. I believe it's two weeks and we'll set a minimum. I found similar units on, online for sale in the five to $8,000 range, something like $5,000 minimum, see where that lands us. It's in good shape. It's a 1987 fire truck, so it's very limited appeal, so. Understood, although the frame actually for certain farm purposes, oh, exactly. construction purposes, just, someone, really someone will take it. Or somebody really wants that transmission there. Yeah. You, you remember those days, yeah. Yeah, I absolutely remember yeah. those days. <laughs> <laughs> All right, great. Thank you. Thank you. All right, great. All right, so we have uh, an appointment for Mr. Kelleher to Conservation Commission. Mr. Kelleher, I know that um, uh, you had expressed a preference because uh, originally you had applied for ConCom. We made we informed you of a, a of a position that may that was open on Board of Health that position has not been filled but the meeting to fill that position won't be until next week would your intent be to accept an appointment if we did still go forward with your Conservation Commission appointment what's before us today is to actually appoint you to Conservation Commission per your original request okay. we, we would intend on proceeding with that tonight unless you have an objection I don't know if that's enough. Okay. All right. So, um, do we have a motion? So, I make, we'll make a motion to appoint uh, Christopher Keller for Conservation Commission. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. There you go, sir. All right. Next item uh, Point Council of the Aging Member, uh, Mary Lou Knight. Can I get a motion for that? You have that motion. All right, Brad. Do we have a second? Uh, second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Here we go. While you're in a signing mode, we can do that. Okay. Um, right of first refusal on 13 West Main Street. Uh, so I don't know if. Uh, <clears throat> I thought we had already done this. I think it was another piece of property. This is another one, I believe. Oh, this is another one that abuts the back side. Okay, so fundamentally, there we've got some property that's in Chapter 61B um, that they're looking to transfer between two residents, fundamentally. Um, historically, we have... Uh, gone ahead and relinquished our right of first refusal. Um, I don't see a vested interest in the town trying to acquire this. Jeez, can I get a motion? Make a motion. Um, what is the motion? Uh, to I would not say exercise to, our first. To decline yeah, the option. Uh, <laughs> it's like decline I think that right. we decline to exercise our option of first refusal on the uh, property at 13 Main Street. Great. That's a great motion. <laughs> second that second. All right. All in favor? Aye. 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 All right. Town chimney damage. So. Um, I don't know if you guys are aware, have gotten a chance to take a look at the backside of the town hall. I no. didn't. Okay, so I mean, I could see that there's... there's yeah, yeah, we put up a bunch of Jersey barrier, right? Um, so fundamentally, um, the, when the high winds hit about a week or so back, um, it appears that one of the, the currently non-active chimneys Let's call it imploded almost. Yeah. Um, and it's been it's been dropping shrapnel on the back side of the building. Um, we have three options that we can go with. We have a we have a local masonry contact that the town hall improvement committee has used down at ground level. I think they were going to try to hook them up with a lift and the like. Um, so we we can either continue down that path as Al said, winter. If he was here. Get here. He, he was here and he looked at it, but. Um, Al hasn't submitted anything, so I'm assuming he's get it, gathering together the information. 
I did hear him talk about a ladder, so I don't know if he actually went up there. I'm thinking not, because he'd need Peters, I think, to get up on that chimney. But yes, Al is working with that mason okay. right now. So we've got somebody who's who's at least pursuing, trying to figure out what their estimate's going to be. And then there's a couple of alternatives from the claims adjuster, who has also come out and taken a look at it. Um, if you, I think do you the first, preference? the first option was having the local guy yeah. at least take a look at it. I mean, we're not bound to anything, so. No, I mean, I and mean, it's not critical. I mean, nothing's leaking up there. Well, nothing's leaking yet, though. Though the brick is starting to do some. At some point after the initial brick fall, so when the initial brick fall hit, it was just brick yeah. that was showing up. Over this last weekend, um, we had a couple of chunks of slate show up. So it's probably not just going to be masonry. It's probably also going to be the slate. Yeah. Um, and that's one thing I would want to be cautious of um, is that when he gets up there, if he finds that slate, you know, that the slate damage is in an area that, that you know, we don't want to be messing with. Um, we may want to get go ahead and get, um, you know, we could ask Mia to basically do it and then they would manage it as well. Yeah. Pluses and minuses of that, it's totally out of our hands. We don't have to worry about it. But as evidenced by what happened at the library when Mia did it, they yeah. managed to fix the damage, not the root cause. And oh, is that who did again. the work? <clears throat> yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Yeah. So. <laughs> Uh, so basically the insurance agency said, okay, we'll take care of it all. But then the way that their contractor did the work, they did it basically out of sequence and we're doing it a second time, only worse. Yeah. So, um, it may be worth, because I don't think it costs us anything to have the adjuster do uh, an estimate for the, well, he, he's saying he would just do a, an estimate. I would rather do the repair first and know what it actually is going to cost because if they do an estimate for the repairs and it runs right. over and, and they don't manage the project then we're going to have a yep. fist of cost with the insurance yep. company so so no, you I sound agree. like you're good with one do we want to go ahead and vote that or do you have questions or i mean i guess the issue is that if we if we if we go with the uh the mason contract from the town hall improvement committee and what ha and it turns out that there's slate damage. Then do we just? We'll have to contact our slate contractor that did put the roof a claim probably, for that. Mm -hmm. and and have them do it as well. So and, one of the things I'd like to find out is that it's it sounds like the it sounds like the inspector saw the chimney damage, but can we make sure they get the updated photos with the slate? Yeah, and I think what I. Because he came out last week, so he came out before. Before the slate, slate came slate. down. Okay. So, so I, I think what we want to do is continue on one, but notify the adjuster about the fact that we're we now appear to have some roof damage as well from it, um, and see if he wants to come back out because I don't want him estimating the repairs based on there not being the slate present. Right. Yes, I'll contact him. Great. So. I think Do we have to make a motion for that or anything? I don't think we Are you effectively going to be the project manager for this and hire the contractors well, directly? Typically. Or if we go with option one? If we go with option one, typically what winds up happening is that the town hall improvement committee winds up acting as our project manager and the, mm -hmm. and the general contractor will do the work right. and, and manage the job. So, mm -hmm. but yeah. So. You know, the other and, and fundamentally, I wouldn't recommend two just because I don't trust to to just do an estimate no. and then no. Right. <laughs> and, and three hasn't worked out great in the past, but we can try again with a warning. Hey, can you make sure you actually fix the root cause before you go? Like, yeah. don't fix the slate first and then do the masonry, please. Mm -hmm. Right. So, um, but okay. So I think that's. I think I don't think we need a vote for that. I yeah, I mean, I think the clear. only benefit to that third is if they don't do it correctly, they're on the hook. They're on the hook for come it. back. Right. right. So I mean, that right. is the benefit. Right. So, um, I, I. But I would think you're also going to get similar from a contractor that we have experience working with. Yeah. I, I mean, I'm just. I'm I, at this point. I'm a little more comfortable with the contractors we've worked with. Our, our slate yeah. roof folks and the folks that did the cleats and stuff are at least 
relatively trustworthy and reliable. Mm -hmm. Well, not the folks that did the sleep the first time, but the folks that fixed it for us uh, <laughs> that we've used yes. since are pretty reliable. So um, I, I'm, I have a better level of, of comfort with them than mm -hmm. others. So. So don't want to make a vote. Um. Why don't go, did you want to go ahead and make a motion to accept yeah. option one? We'll make a motion to, to proceed with option one. Yeah. What was yeah. the actual wording on it? Um, it was uh, to I'll make a motion to con to retain a local masonry contractor to provide us with the estimate for the chimney. OK, great. Second. All right, all in favor, aye. Aye. Um, we're going to, I think, skip over town hall parking spaces for now. Uh, go ahead and put it on the next agenda. Um, and we've got the ABCC seasonal population increase estimation. Okay. And so. Right. All right, so basically it was the So where did he come up with this number from? Is this from our census? I don't know. I don't know. It's, he figured out how many, if, if, if any more, if we have any more for the summer, that's what the number is. I think it's only several more than we have now. And that's probably based off of the fishing derbies, et cetera, and so forth. Well, I would assume that's what he's, he's basing the numbers off. They're of. saying all well, population, so they, he, no, no, they're saying who lives there. So there's certain houses that are for summer rentals. That's what I think. Oh, got it. Yeah, it's not visitors. It's it's the summer rentals. Residents, yeah. Okay. All right. You all have any questions on that? I mean, no. what is this for? A, for the ABCC, they okay. they estimate how many. How many people you have? I think it might have something to do with how many licenses right. they give out. Right, it does. Yeah. Okay, but if it's if it's their number, or is it something we have to sign? I guess I'm just understanding. No, it's not their number. That it's, number it's, our no, it's our it's our number, yeah. but it okay. came from the town clerk. We're okay. approving a number that came from the town clerk that we're providing to the alcohol commission. Oh, okay. Got it. Do it every year. Yep. Every year you guys it seemed like something we did every year. It, it seemed like it was coming from the ABCC, which is why I was a little confused. No. It's no. like, okay, it's going okay. the other way. Well, yeah, it's going the other way. The, for, the form comes from, it's a form that they have, but we we, we fill it out and return it to them. Mm -hmm. And it looks like he adds about 200 people. Mm -hmm. So. All right. Um, so. I move that we sign the letter. All right. Second. Second. All in favor? All right. All right. All right. There we go. All right, then hopefully everybody's reviewed the uh, select board minutes uh, from 12, 20, 17, 12, 15, 22. Uh, yes. All right. Yes. So can we get a motion to approve those minutes? Uh, I move that we accept the minutes for the, was it the December 15th, 2022 meeting and what was the other one? Uh, that meeting back in 2017? Yeah, that's that 12, 20, 17. 12, 20, 17, yes. Right, and it's two sets each, both the open and two the executive. Sets only for the, uh, mm -hmm. oh. or, I'm sorry, for the new yeah. ones, yeah. Yes, for the uh, open meeting and the executive session. Yeah. Go ahead and second. All in favor? Aye. 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 All right, so a couple pieces of correspondence. Um, from Charter, our best friends. Okay, is to warn everybody that um, for the various plans, there's going to be an increase of between a uh, dollar and two twenty-one a month. Um, no, a dollar and five. These two oh yeah, a dollar and five. Yeah, you're right. So a dollar and five, uh, depending on like which what kind of package you have and how many digital receivers you have. Um, and then there's a second one. Why do you, I think. It looks the same, but it's really not. It's just fun, it's different. It's just more, it's got the same, actually. It looks like they maybe added a, a, a plan yeah. or something in there. So can you just make sure that copies of these go up? 
can go up as part of the minutes. Like, oh, of put them up in the, uh, uh, just scan them and put them attached to this meeting on my town government. Oh, perfect, yes. Yeah. Great. Um, so, can I get a motion to move to executive session using the verbiage uh, provided on the agenda? <laughs> Uh, make a motion to move to executive session pursuant to general laws 30A, 21A3 to discuss strategy with respect to collective bargaining or litigation if an open meeting may have a detrimental effect on the bargaining or litigating position of the public body and the chair so declares New England Police Benevolent Association. Okay, and I'm declaring that we need to go to executive session for the purposes of the discussion that we have on the agenda. Mm -hmm. Can we get a second? I will and, second. Well, should we, in, and then we're closed after yeah. that. So, so, yeah, and actually, right. can, let's so amend to, that motion right. to indicate that we'll, it, be, that, that, that we'll be adjourning from... Adjourning. The only adjourning, that we'll be going to open session and only adjourning? No, and then we're going to adjourn directly from executive session. And adjourn okay. directly, yeah from executive okay. session. Second. All right, uh, roll call, uh, Coughlin aye. Regan aye. Kodelsky aye. All right, that's a wrap.